Recently, a few smart sounding scientist dudes have been talking a lot about something called the hop vibration. They almost always claim it tells us something fundamental about nature, and after building up a grand statement about its power and importance, show this photo as an explanation of what the vibration actually is, and then move on. So, let's figure out precisely what the hop vibration is. The hop vibration is essentially a mapping from R4 to R3, which is a mathematical way of saying we take a point in four dimensional space and map it to a point in three dimensional space. But that's not the whole story. We are specifically mapping from the three sphere to the two sphere. The three sphere is the four dimensional analog of the three dimensional sphere. It's not important to intuitively understand this object to understand the hop vibration on a basic level. You just need to accept that it exists. To offer a bit of guidance, you can think of the three sphere as a sphere that has a sphere at every point. The two sphere is just an ordinary sphere in three dimensional space. It's important to note that when referencing these objects, we're only referring to the shell of the spheres, not the internal points. Now that we have a feeling for the space that we're working in, let's work to formally define the hop vibration. We can represent the space of R4 by C2 which is the space of two complex numbers, z1, z2. This is possible because both spaces have four degrees of freedom, since complex numbers have two degrees of freedom each, embedded in their real and imaginary components. These spaces are thus dubbed isomorphic because they are mathematically equivalent. To restrict our space in C2 to the three sphere, we can define that every coordinate we consider must satisfy z1 squared plus z2 squared equals 1. This is analogous to saying that the radius of the 1 sphere, the circle, is 1 through x squared plus y squared equals 1, but in four dimensions. With our three sphere coordinate space fully defined, we can now define the hop vibration as such. This equation tells us that we take a point, z1, z2, from our three sphere space we constructed earlier, and then get an output in a new space. I told you earlier that the new space is the two sphere, but let's make sure we understand why. The first coordinate in the mapping is defined to be two multiplied by z0 and the complex conjugate of z1. Accordingly, this coordinate is a complex number and thus carries two degrees of freedom. The second coordinate is the difference between the squared magnitude of complex numbers z0 and z1. Since the magnitude of a complex number is always a positive real number, we see that the second coordinate in our mapping is real. Thus, we find that the hop vibration maps to R3, as the mapping has three degrees of freedom. To verify to ourselves that it also maps to the two sphere, we can simply perform a bit of quick algebra, which ensures that the degrees of freedom have a squared magnitude of one. With that, we understand the formal definition of the hop vibration in its entirety. To wrap this up nicely, let's revisit that picture and figure out exactly what it's telling us. First, let's define a fiber as the collection of points in the three sphere that map to the same point on the two sphere through the hop vibration mapping we defined earlier. For example, if points Z0, Z1, and Z2, Z3 map to the same point on the two sphere, these points are part of the same fiber. Each band of a specific color in this photo is a fiber. You probably noticed that this photo is not four dimensional, and yet our fibers are defined in a four dimensional space. To make the fibers visible to us merely three dimensional beings, we project the four dimensional fibers into R3 using stereographic projection, and then use a bit more fancy mathematics to compress the points into a compact region of R3. So, this photo is just showing us a simplified representation of the points on the three sphere that map to the same points on the two sphere through the hop vibration. Not too bad. Thanks for watching. <laughs>